Oh my god, yesterday there was one moment during the day where all of the animals were sleeping. All three cats were sleeping, a few were sleeping, and I was like, oh, this feels great. I have so much time to myself. I like just enjoy that moment where everyone is sleeping and everything is calm and cool, no one is stressed, nobody needs anything. That was such a moment. Right now, cats are walking around, so all careful and I've been asleep in. And I am using this time to to learn some skills, basically. <laughs> I thought as I will be joining the new company soon, I want to brush up on my skills, close up any gaps I may have, to learn like more about my job. And you know, when you work somewhere for a long time, it's very easy to just focus on that one or like a few things that you're doing day in day out and it's easy not to strive to learn anything beyond that point and that's the level of comfort I was talking about before it's becoming incredibly important right now because I will be doing a new company and I want to make a good impression and I just want to know my shit inside out potentially bring something new to the table I don't know I am spending time like I'm signing up for this course there's a three month trial so so many online courses that are free or not free, there's YouTube videos, there's so much material out there, uh, especially with the job that I have. Like, th there's so much information online. I'm signed up for this course provider, <laughs> very popular at the moment. I'm gonna see what they have on, on the subject, but like I said, there's so much stuff. I have one month to basically prepare to move on. I just want to. I just want to basically know more <laughs> and I don't want to disappoint people who hired me because I know the feeling that you get where you've hired somebody and then you're like why how why are we how was this person hired you know, I don't want those guys to feel that about me because it's an awful feeling to have for both parties so <sighs> okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go study. curious one and i think she'll be the first one to actually make friends hopefully with rp and then introduce and like tell the other cats that it's like okay you know i hope i don't know oh gosh my braces need to go i am planning to basically email my orthodontist choose my coordinator i don't know if i said it already i think i said it somewhere or to one of my friends but i really don't want to have braces when I joined the new company, I I don't think my midline will be corrected. It's just not moving anywhere and I, I don't care. I really don't care. So I'm going to email her now actually saying that, hey, do you reckon I can get them off? Do my appointment on the 28th. Also, I don't know how that works. I think I'll need to get the retainers and stuff and, and I will need to have them like right away when they take the braces off. So... Will I need to get them? Look, I don't know. I don't want to think about it. I just want to email my children go do the same. This is what I want. I really don't mind having my midline off. I'm like cool with us. I just really want them off. And see what my husband just says. Maybe I'll need to like go there a week before or something to get a scan of my teeth. To, for them to like prepare the retainers or something. I don't know. I'm going to email now. I actually called my clinic the dental clinic that is dealing with my braces and all and 
my treatment coordinator no longer works for them so I actually just left my comment and my concerns and whatever you know the fact that I want my braces off this month with somebody I think it was just general secretary for the clinic I don't know anyway she noted everything down and she will be in touch soon so that's checked off another thing that I want to be doing is I want to spend this month utilizing the full allowance that i have with my current insurer because the new company won't have this insurance plan and i think that i'll have to work there for two years before getting coverage or something i don't know at the moment i have allowance to get some more consequences and to do some dental work and i have to book all of that in now for april to just basically use it all Good party. And so we wait until he goes to toilet. He did have food and drink two hours ago before he went to sleep, so I'm going back home until he actually does it. Hi. Good morning. 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 Not sure if that's gonna happen, but it should happen because he ate well food. It's been two hours, he slept. He should have probably generated some of that. <gasps> You've got no idea. you got a body. Look. I mean, like, you probably don't wanna see that. <gasps> so much. Oh my god, I need to go crazy happy for him to know that he's done a good job. Good job. Good job, Danny. Good job. Good job. Good job. Mm -hmm. Our pin and I are going to the vet. As you can see, here's the strategy. I just put him in my backpack because if I carry him in that cat carrier, he gets motion sickness and he vomits. But this, as I thought, it would is a perfect approach first off it's way easier for me to carry him i don't know he's very fatty <laughs> he's a little lumpy boy but anyway we're on our way to our first vet appointment and i had got his vaccination card and all gosh my day started like 6 a.m and they used to start at like 9 to 10 so <laughs> it's a huge transition plus he's waking me up throughout the night to like go potty and stuff but having a puppy is nothing compared to having a cat absolutely nothing and so this is literally very close i think to having like a real child i need to have him around when i'm cooking because he'll cry otherwise or like when i go to the toilet i have to bring him with me because he'll cry otherwise I also have the cats who's only just now started to like be curious about it at first they're all scared i think i'm eating my ham they're all scared of him like what who, who is this new animal you know now they're like okay i think this guy is not going anywhere they're curious and i think a peace treaty will soon be signed between at least one of them i mean one cat and one dog visit to the vet went really great we got health checked and stuff we got he got our pain got his ears checked heart checked everything checked out <laughs> everything is perfect and i got him a harness i still need to try i got him like a bigger version because he's gonna grow like crazy i'm so glad i took a week off from work because this is like a full-time job especially now the transition period is happening so i need to transition to having a dog my partner needs to transition the cat needs to transition and the vet was so surprised and astonished at the fact that our cats are already coming in and being curious about the dog because she said that in most cases it takes a few months before cats do that and it took our cats only a few days to almost be okay just like not too scared but being like curious about him so i'm very proud and very happy that it's not taking too long because the faster the transition happens the better it is for everybody
Oh my god, I'm so excited, you guys. You have no idea what happened. I just absolutely just I, I really want to cry out of happiness. I was doing laundry and just do my thing downstairs and then I look at Arpine and he's like he, he ran up to the door to the door that leads to the garden where he goes to the toilet and he's just like looking at the door and like wiggling his tail and I think he even squicked the usual squeak sound he makes if he wants to go to the toilet and I'm like oh, you're telling me you are communicating with me about the potty break I was just like yes let's do it go to the garden ghost number one ghost number two right after done and I'm so happy. This, like literally yesterday, he he just booked next to like the door and he had no accidents today in the house. Zero. He had two, I think, yesterday and two or three the day before. And none of them today. <sighs> you have no idea. Happy I am. I'm proud I'm really, really a ghost. Now, next step is to teach him to press the button. And I'm gonna show you what I mean by that. Okay, so I've got this box. <laughs> it's this really crappy box from China. I, I didn't even check whether this works, but what it is, is it is a bell for dog. Hey, Danny, no one. With, well, two bells actually, with two receptors, one for downstairs and one for the upstairs area. It's like a bell that dogs need to ring when they want to go potty. I haven't even checked anything. Here, let's try. See if it works, see if I need to return it or something. Hold on. I just clicked it. Right, okay, you know, yesterday I was really excited about the bell and I placed it on the door that leads to like the backyard and stuff where he goes potty. Um, we have a problem here because <laughs> this door doesn't just lead to the outside where he potties, it also leads to the food area. And the food is the biggest motivator for dogs and cats, but the dogs, I think, uh, just you know motivates the most what happens now there's like two motivators there's food and there's like the outside world and the outside world is a huge motivator for the cats as well so <laughs> what's happening now is that both arpine and lynette at the moment just two of them pressing this fucking bell and like <laughs> The music, the bell goes off, and I'm like, what the fuck, you know? I don't think it's a good spot to be placing this bell, and I need to figure out another spot. Like, a little bit away from the door, but it needs to be associated with the door. It needs to be on the way, you know, to that area. I don't know. I really need to think about it. I don't want to put it on the wall, because I'm using a really strong tape, and if I put it on the wall, it will destroy the coating.
you probably remember me saying that I really want to get these braces off by the time I join the new company. Up until this point, the only thing that we were trying to do with an orthodontist is correcting my midline. And let me tell you a little bit about that. So when you have a jaw surgery, your bone is in a constant state of trying to correct itself and heal. Any orthodontic work done after the jaw surgery will be like two, three times faster. Teeth will react to movements to a much higher degree than they would otherwise. My orthodontist didn't have much experience with having jaw surgery patients. I think I was her first. But after the jaw surgery, we need to we need to correct a few things. So one of them being the midline and the other one being my teeth needed to match, come together here and here. So bottom teeth and bottom teeth and top teeth. Anyway, that was done within the first two days of me wearing the band and everything was great. But then the second part of the problem that I needed to fix was my midline, which um, she cares about, I cared about a bit at the time. It doesn't concern me too much, but then again, when you're going through an orthodontic process and your surgery, and it's a very, um, it's a huge deal and it's kind of costly as well. So I thought might as well correct everything and make everything perfect as you would. And she gives me a, a band to correct my midline and we are trying it on the other on this side and we're trying to move my lower jaw a little bit, two, three millimeters. That was everything that was needed to be moved. And the band that she gives me is too tight. It's just too strong. It pulled my teeth too much and it caused problems. So we decided to go to take a different approach and we decided to go with a much, much, much lighter band and we decided to move upper jaw a little bit, uh, upper teeth, sorry, not the bottom teeth, but now we're moving upper teeth to the other side to correct my midline. And this is the band that I'm wearing now. I mean, not right now, but like during this time frame. And that band was way too light <laughs> so it didn't move anything the first one was way too strong this one was way too light so when it comes down to doing orthodontics after the jaw surgery a good approach is to have appointments with your orthodontist not every six or eight month weeks that you would normally have but every three weeks because you need to readjust uh, according to what's happening and this wasn't the case here my appointments were, were every six weeks and in the end I'm now at a stage where I have to join a new company, my midline is off, and I really, really don't mind. I'd rather get them off before I join the new company and get them cleaned, get all of the other work that needs doing, such as permanent crowns and a few composite fillings to make up for the spaces that were created on both ends. And I'd rather do all of that, and I have to do it now, this, not now, but this month, before my insurance goes away and before I join the company. So, I let my treatment coordinator know about this, and she got in touch with my orthodontist, and my orthodontist said that I should stop wearing the band now, and I, stopped, I was so glad about that, and it makes sense, because my teeth need to stabilise and just not move at all. Now that we are going to get the braces off, she needs to confirm basically i can't just say i want them off and get the appointment booked off i need to have the last appointment with her so she green lights it and we can get them off and i'm pretty damn sure that she'll green light it and she's now transition i think this appointment i'll be having will be actually her last appointment at this company because she's changing job overall i'm sure she'll green light it because everything is perfectly everything is fine i let her know that i don't mind my midland being off so that's sorted she doesn't need to mind that Though I'm not 100% sure, I know that she will say yes, but it's not confirmed that my braces will be coming off on the 27th of April. I still went ahead and booked my debonding appointment, which will be done by a therapist, not off a non-test, the next day. <laughs> that was the only available appointment. Uh, unfortunately, I have to travel back and forth, but hey, at least I'll hopefully be getting them off the next day on the 29th. And... I also wanted to book my hygienist appointment right away, but they didn't have any slots there. So I had to find another clinic in the area that will do my clean, my deep cleaning on the same day so that I could claim it back. This will be the last two, three days of my insurance being available for me. So I have to use it. I have to be very organized on this front. Last thing, they said that there'll be, well, the treatment coordinator, the first thing she said was that 
Oh, and a fixed retainer will cost you £700. And I'm like, first off, I didn't think that I'll be getting a fixed retainer. I thought I'll be getting the just basic plastic thing that everyone, the majority of people get. I've also heard that fixed retainers break a ton. And the second they break, the teeth can go back to being the way they used to be. And it will be another seven, £700 is a lot. I am not happy about that. I don't think I should be having fixed retainers. The majority of jaw surgery patients and orthodontic patients have plastic retainers and they come free with my package that I got from these guys. And I'm keen on having those as opposed to getting a fixed thing, a piece of metal for 700 quid that will break. I don't know, it may not even break, but I, I have a feeling it will break at some point and I'm not willing to spend so much money on this freaking piece of metal so i don't think i will i will discuss this with my orthodontist of course but i'm set to having a plastic retainer i don't see a problem having it it will be like a mission to clean it and stuff but hey it's just a part of it it's just a part of the process and i really like don't mind doing that so that's what they'll be scaling my teeth for after the debonding sesh on a saturday